and for the Leader of the Opposition to say that without evidence, without quoting a document, it is dangerous and misleading and has to be dealt with immediately. And I urge the member, I urge the Leader of the Opposition, as I know he is gentleman on, enough, to withdraw that statement. To ask me to withdraw the comment about for profit, I will withdraw it. Well, it's for-profit prison in Jamaica and to use taxpayers' money to facilitate it. Very little has been disclosed to the public about this plan, other than the government announcing that they've identified 300 acres of land in St. Catherine for a new purpose-built correctional facility via a public-private partnership. And from this public-private partnership, necessarily there has to be a return on investment for the private investors. That's why I say for-profit, Prime Minister. In the U.S., they call this approach. What kind of information, Madam Speaker? The, the member speaking to, I've interrupted you, please, but there is no plan or any articulation of any prison for profit right, to be built. Right? Which is what you have, you have implied. Absolutely none. It's misleading the host. You're misleading the host. It's not, been, it's not been said even in, in jest. Madam Speaker, I made the point that what we heard is going to happen is there's going to be a public-private partnership to build a new maximum security prison. And, one, and I went on to say that from you have a public-private partnership, necessarily the private investors are going to require a return on their investment, which is the profit of which I'm speaking. That's what I said. And the, Right. Madam Speaker, in the U.S. Well, when you can clarify, when you but this is what this is what various. On, Madam, now, the, Madam Speaker, on a point of order, and I do loathe doing this in the presentation of the leader of the opposition. But I believe that the 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 point that the leader of the opposition raised to suggest that the government is going to build a prison for profit, which are the words he uttered, is dangerous and misleading and ought to be corrected immediately. The government has never contemplated that. It has never been thought of. It is in, in no policy of the government. And for the leader of the opposition to say that without evidence, without quoting a document, it is dangerous and misleading and has to be dealt with immediately. And I urge the member, I urge the leader of the opposition, as I know he is gentleman on, enough, me. to withdraw that statement. Madam Speaker, what we have been told is that this prison is going to be built as a public private partnership. That's what we've been told. We have never had, it has been, the Minister of State, it has, it, it has been reported and in, the, in, the, in the public, in the media, You're, a public-private partnership. That has, been, that has been stated publicly by the Minister of State who has responsibility for prisons. My point is, if it's a public-private partnership, that suggests that the private, whoever's, the private partner is going to be looking to make a return on it. That is why I said what I said. And, I, and, and, and more, and Madam Speaker, more information and more transparency around what is intended would be welcome. Because the way in which it has been brought across so far is raises concerns. It's as simple as that. I will move on, Madam Speaker. Um, no, um, you will just move on. A point of order has been made. If indeed the impression is that the government is building a that what were your exact words probably I should get that from Hanshad because if you have said it is for profit then it is wrong and it is a wrong signal to send. So Miss Curtis can I have what can I have what was said from Hanshad? Madam Speaker, this is the report that I, this was on December 8, 2022. I want to know what was said. The government has the given its clearest indication. Member, yes. I am speaking. I said a point of order yes. 
was raised. Yeah. As the speaker, I must rule whether or not. And to do so, I need to hear from Hanchard what was said. Hanchard. Madam Speaker, I, I, am, I am prepared to clarify. When I said for profit, I was referring to the private-public partnership that, that the government has given a clear indication that it is proceeding with, or at least considering a private-public partnership to build a state-of-the-art prison. And a private-public partnership necessarily involves the private element in that partnership earning a return on their investment. That is what I was saying. And I've said as well that if, I'm, if, if that is not the case... Um, member, yeah. I am saying this afternoon that I'm waiting on what Hansard has said. A point of order... Madam a Speaker. point of order has been raised. The Prime Minister asked me to withdraw the comment about for profit. I will withdraw it. Well, if I'm you withdraw it, if you withdraw it. Because it's, it's, it is a ridiculous. It would be ridiculous. To, it would be ridiculous to hold up these proceedings while you go and re refer to Hansard as to what I said. The crux of the matter oh, is. Member, member, hold a minute. Uh, members of the House, everybody, it is clear, um, no, please, don't do that, member. If a point of order has been raised in this House by anybody, it is my duty to respond to it, and I could not respond. Now that the member has said he will withdraw it, we may go ahead, but it is, it is wrong. I'm not going to do it. I, I can't rule on something that I... I'm not sure what was said, but the member has now withdrawn it, and there will, for we can move ahead. Madam Speaker, we would ask that the Prime Minister use the earliest possible opportunity to clarify the nature of this public-private partnership in relation to the building of a prison, and in particular, how the private element in that partnership will, re will re receive a return on investment, which is normally called a profit. But I am not saying that this is a for-profit prison. It's a private-public model. We want to understand how that works and whether that will protect the interests of the people of Jamaica in having a prison system that allows rehabilitation as a foremost concern to bring down this 40% rate of persons leaving prison and coming back, re-offending. That is what I'm talking about. Madam Speaker, I shall press on. I move to the issue of health.